I don't know if you noticed, but I lost 13 pounds last year. I got tired of wearing a three-piece suit like a girdle. The trouble with this job is that each new town brings a new restaurant. Like a lot of Americans, I came to rely on the local food critic. But that parsley sage of rosemary and thyme never reviewed any food that I knew. I was alone until one day here in Dallas, I met George Toomer. As you can see, George is not part of the granola for lunch bunch. He's a food critic and he's got a 280 pound resume to prove it. George may look like Orson Welles. Can I pick up one tomato? But he prefers Popeye's pal, Wimpy. He reviews the kind of food most of us really eat. George Toomer is the gourmet guide to the hot and go. I'll say Burger King maintains one of the best standards that I've run into. Uh, some of the other franchises, I think they ply their meat with a caulking gun. George got hooked on junk food 30 years ago when his mother found him fondling a bottle of Bosco and an empty case of Mighty Fine Pudding. In his column as food critic for Dallas Magazine, he asks, why do they call it junk? For years, he has felt the name is just a plot of the healthier-than-thou crowd. There's a whole social structure that's been built on what kind of chips and snacks you have at your party. You're either more nutritious, and so you always go for something that everyone kind of hates but implies you really kind of like, you know. They really want to have potato chips, but they say, look, everybody's going to say that I'm not weight conscious or nutrition conscious, so I will get vegetable thins. I mean, vegetable thins. Look, there's a guilt-free chip right there, you know. <laughs> I mean, you show that, everybody says, well, he's really suffering right along with us, you know, and nobody likes him. No. Some gourmet critics sniff that what George Toomer does is not all that important. But George points out that folks don't eat truffles when they're in a hurry. And when you get right down to it, gourmet cooking is not really very important. I mean, you go through the paper and you figure how many people have eaten a souffle? How many people know the difference between a chocolate souffle and a vanilla souffle or whatever? I mean, they don't really know that. I think it goes right along with the same kind of concept as label, designer label jeans, you know. I'll do comparative studies. Like, I'll try to tell people which is the best frozen pizza, if such a thing exists. Um, some pizza tastes like a giant soda cracker with a big red stain on it, you know, and a little pepperoni is made out of garden hose. I mean, it tastes like a sock. Do you need much of a kitchen for gourmet du junk? No, actually, you just need some famous utensils, the... Uh, the tongs for lifting the boiling pouches out, which I've got that down to a science. I can hold that little rascal with these tongs, take a steak knife, cut the top of the thing off, pour it over the rice or whatever, put that into the trash, and never touch my hands to anything. George urges his readers to come out of the closet and eat their Twinkies in the sunshine. Perhaps all that is needed to wash away the guilt is a touch of class. There's a Twinkie get better with age. Well, you, I guess you should serve no Twinkie before it's time. Huh? Well, to your health. Indeed. For today, Bob Dotson, NBC News, on George Toomer's Porch.